Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Sorry, it took me a minute. Last minute. Groceries were delivered. Nobody's home, so I had to go put up, put away the cold stuff so it didn't go bad. Hi. Um, I may have to change that light. Mm, no, it might be fine for the video. <sighs> Yay. All right. So late night. So figured I'm home. Nobody else is. Perfect time to do it, right? Um, I have... I'm going to pull my hair up real quick. I have all of my stuff cut out. I wanted to do another heartbreaker. So on our recent Sewing the States trip, we did the new heartbreaker pattern that's coming out at 90%. And I've been dying to make another one and figure out that dip in that heart. Okay. So in the video, if you've watched it, the designer says you need to get a needle and thread and baste it where it needs to go. And I was like, I don't do that. Well, guess what? I'm gonna do that. Um, I've got my needle all threaded and ready to go. And we're going to try doing that and getting that dip to look really good. I'm gonna try really hard. Um, Jadira, I had issues with my live from today uploading, so it is no longer up. I apologize. Not much I can do about that. Okay. Here we go. I got everything cut out. Again, this is a heartbreaker from K. Ascona um, Designs. I have it linked in the description already, so you should be able to find it. And we're just gonna get going on this. Okay, so for the front, I did this cute embroidery on it of this gnome. I just like, that's kind of adorable. Um, and then I just, you know, cut it out and pieced it together. I love it. I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> um, okay. And then I have all my other pieces sitting here ready to go. And I will explain as we sew. How does that sound? Um, I put my Decaville Heavy on my lining pieces. I'm putting foam on all of my outside pieces. And what else? I mean, that's, that's my piece. Oh, and then did I do, yeah, I did Decaville light on my gusset and zipper panel, not heavy. I did Decaville light, an eyelash, and I'm doing foam. So hopefully it gives it just a really good shape and it's cute. Fingers crossed. All right, should we start sewing, guys? I think, what am I gonna do first? I think I'm going to do the outside. I'm doing a zipper pocket. I'll do my connectors and my zipper pocket first. Where's my D-rings? Where's that? There it is. Okay. Got my zipper tape, my D-rings, which my connectors are way too long, and I know that. And my zipper overlay. So I'm not putting anything on the back of this until I do my zipper overlay. So I'm doing my overlay first and then I'll baste on the foam. All right, Robert, you're gonna love it if we can figure out that dip. If I can figure out that dip, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, this is a fun pattern. Um, I'll show you what I did, just a minute. So I went a little crazy. Um, Karen, my soup did not turn out. Sad story. It was a pattern or a first time recipe and I spent like an hour making my soup and it was disgusting and so I threw it all away. I ended up having spiral mac and cheese. <laughs> so sad. Um, I printed this pattern at 60%. 60%. <laughs> And I made this cute little guy. I bound it on the outside. And it did turn out cute. It's a little wrinkly right there. Um, it's pretty stinking cute though. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so I wanted to see, I was kind of playing around with it because I wanted to see what the dip looked like when it was bound on the outside. And it actually, I mean, it looks really good. 
I just, I don't know. I feel like it's just a little sloppy with the binding on the outside, I guess. So I really want to see if I can get it to look nice with it on the inside. If not, doing it this way is a great way to get it to look nice along the top here. So that was what I was wondering. And how cute is that? <laughs> it's just a tiny little thing. Um, okay. It's very cute. I went a little crazy. I printed this pattern like at 80, 70, and 60%. But I haven't sewn them all up. Okay. <laughs> seeing the coat chart bag, I may quilt the front. Yes. I want to do a quilted one as well because I've seen that one too. And then I want to move the gusset so it's not in the middle I want to move it so there's room for a handle behind it, like a little handle. Yeah. All right. Here we go. When you turn it out the other way, is it got the dip? Sherry, you know what? I didn't turn it out the other way for that little one, so I'm not sure, actually. All right, guys. I think we're ready to sew. I have no one home, which is insane because I feel like lately there's always someone home, which isn't a bad thing, but I never had the house to myself. So there is no one here right now. It won't last long, but that's okay. That's okay. I love my family. All right. I'm going to do this connector first and get this going as my light is not on right there. And then we're just going to start sewing this. Here we go. And I don't think, I think I cut these out too long. I just need one of these. And this is just for my strap, for my D-rings. One of mine is quilted. I'm waiting for the mod to the center zipper and longer gusset. Yep. Oh, you're gonna love it, Robert. That's what this is. This is her new modification one with the center zipper and longer gusset. So. We're gonna try this out. I did make one of these at Amber's house and it was super cute, but I feel like I can do better. I can do better. And I'm not really in a hurry tonight, so we're just gonna kinda take our time. How about that? Hello, Irene. Hi, Deborah. Yeah, Charlotte saw that little tiny one and she wants it. So I'll probably, I just need to make a little wrist strap for it. I didn't get around to that. It was a very late night sew of mine when I got back from our sewing the states because it was in my head and I really wanted to get it out. <laughs> so, yeah, the coach one does have super cool handles. You know exactly what your tries that long enough. Yeah, I'm going to cut this in half. Nope. Hi, Rhonda. <clears throat> I know, I'm hand sewing. Yikes, guys. We'll see if I can remember how to do it. It's not my favorite, but I'm going to do it. Sup, Buttercup. Hello. <laughs> What size are your kai scissors? These ones are the 7150s. I have a smaller pair. I don't know where they ran off to. Um, all right, there's my D-rings. Put those aside. Uh, I'm going to do my... I'm doing a zipper overlay on the back panel of the bag. It turned out really cute last time. When binding on the outside, use the same material as the bag. Yeah, um, that's the other thing, uh, Patty. I know I needed to use something that matched more. It was just a late night, let's try this type thing. And it was fine. But it's still kind of hard because, you know, that's a big dip. I'm going to see if I can find a cute valentine -y Tag. I don't know if I, those are too big. I don't have a ton of these. I stopped my subscription because I'm like, I'm never going to use all these. 
That's one of my favorites. It says, you look really pretty today. I could do that one. Um, made with extra sprinkles. Oh, you make life sweet. Would that be cute on the back? That might be cute. We'll do that. It says, you make life sweet. All right, sold. Sold. I'm going to do that. I'm on my new little tiny chair too, guys. Look, my new little stool <laughs> that Amber had. I bought one. It's pink. <laughs> and I kind of love it. It's great. All right, let me get my silver marking pen and my ruler. And I think I'm going to place this, forget what we did on the other bag. I think it was maybe an inch down. Let's try an inch. <clears throat> that got there fast. Yes, it did, Jan. It got here like the next day. You know, and I do like it, but I can't, I'll probably switch to the other chair halfway through the video. There we go. Beautiful. And then I'm going to put this right behind there. Just right there. All cute. Can I list where I, where I got my chair? I got it off of Amazon and it's on my Amazon list that um, Annette just posted above. That is where I got it. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So I'm gonna sew around the outside of this. I am using matching thread, so. I'm not gonna pull it through, guys. I'm gonna be crazy. I don't think it'll be noticeable. All right, right here. And let's do this. Oh, I was gonna oil my machine, I forgot. That's okay, right? Is that a saddle stool? Yes, this is my back. I sit up straighter when I have this chair, which is good, because I feel like in my other chair, I tend to slouch over. So I think this will help me just a little bit. We'll try it. Worth a shot. Cut out the middle. Where did you get your double sided tape? Um, mine's from Wawak or Waywak. I know lots of different places carry double sided tape now, but um, Waywak tends to be my one that I use quite a bit. All right. 
cut that out. Do you have a link to the binding you used at Amber's? Kimberly, that is fabric therapy. Annette, can you link fabric therapies uh, store? That is where I got that. And this is zipper tape I carry on my website, which is going on sale tomorrow, guys. All of my zipper tape and pulls are being marked to 30% off because I've been told I cannot order new colors until I <laughs> get rid of some of the ones I have. So go buy some zipper tape. Pretty please. That'd be awesome. It'll automatically take it off. There's no discount code. And I'm using my little heart pulls I saw on my website. They're pretty stinking cute. Okay, here we go. Hi, Emily. All right, I'm just using tape for this part like I did at Amber's. I really liked that, so we're gonna do that again. I've got this skinny one eighth inch tape. So when I sew it, it's not in my seam allowances and my needle doesn't get sticky. All right. And then I'm also going to put tape on the ends of my pockets. I watched her do this and I thought, oh, it works out really nice. Okay. First want to put on my pole. Oh, that's gonna be cute. All right, I need a little, little drink. Take a little sip. All right, so I wanna take the tape off the pocket piece first. Here, I'm placing it right sides up. Right side to right side. My canvas, my pink canvas is just, it's a kind that you can't really tell wrong from right on it. So, but this should be facing right side up, okay? And then I'm gonna take this side. And then I'm going to put it on the other side of the zipper tape here. Beautiful. Okay. And now I want to place it in and I want my zipper pull left to right. So I'm going to do, I'm going to place it in like this first and I'm just taking the tape off the bottom and I'm going to sew across the bottom first. Okay. Do you have a link for the overlay templates that was shown on your recent state visit? Um, it was Carolina Stitches, Little Carolina Stitches. Um, and maybe Annette can link her shop. She has the templates for those overlays. They were pretty cool little temp templates. They had puzzle pieces so you can make your ends different and longer and it was pretty neat. All right, so I'm gonna sew along this bottom first. I know, <laughs> that pull goes so good with this bag. I love it so much. Okay, here we go. So I'm just doing the bottom here. From end to end. And you know what, for this step, I am gonna pull my threads through just because I would have to backstitch here, here, and then again there, so I will pull my threads through for this part. And make sure that your pocket pieces are both, oh, mine came off. <laughs> That's okay, I'll restick it. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not gonna backstitch. I almost had my hand there ready to go. Hi, Marley Mae. Hi, Boobers. She's like, what are you doing, Mama? Okay. Doop, doop, doop. There's one. And there's two. Here we go. I need to order more needles for my machine. I just realized I only have two more size 18 needles, so I usually order those from Waywax. So I need to make an order as well. Beautiful. And now I need to restick. <laughs> This other end here. All right, so now I want them both coming down. So press this side down a bit. Put this one down and then I'm going to tape that in there. I'm not gonna backstitch again. I'm gonna be pulling them through. So I'm gonna try to start right where, right where I left off in there. That looks about right. Here we go. Tammy, I'm watching surveillance video of workers' comp patients. Oh, wow. Okay. <sighs> Just listening to Sire rather than watching most of the time. <laughs> That's funny, Pammy. I'm like, what stories can I tell you? I have no idea. Hi, Leslie. Hi, sister. You never called me, so I got on alive instead. Just saying. Yep. You were supposed to call me after the nap. Oh. <laughs> I was supposed to call you. <laughs> I was waiting you for you to call me. <laughs> sorry. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Well, I can either talk to you after this live or we can chat in the morning. Okay. Ooh, that looks pretty. Look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of trim up this. 
um, pocket because obviously I don't need it out like that. All right, now I just need to close it up. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. It's just a tiny little pocket on the back, guys. It's nothing huge, but it's enough to like fit some chapstick or your keys, you know? Jan, thank you. Sometimes I doubt myself. I think I like the red with this though. I think it turned out cute. Okay, that looks pretty good. So it's just a little guy, but it's enough. I would use it. All right. Is the plaid the exterior or the lining? Robert, it's the, the exterior of the bag. So this is the back of the bag. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and baste my foam on. Since my pocket is done, I'm just gonna baste this foam here. And that's really the only pocket I'm doing on this little guy because you don't really need much else. And then um, I will just put the other pieces together and we'll work on the zipper panel. All right, here we go. Just basting this on. Ah! There goes my ball of clips, guys. I place it right where my lever is and every time, every time. Nothing broke. We're good. Oh my goodness. Sorry, that was probably really loud. Move my bowl. Let's try that again. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Usually um, that happens in a video and I can edit it out. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's happened once or twice on a live. Hi Marley, what you doing baby? And so next I just want to, I'm just gonna put on my lining piece. So right sides out, wrong sides together. And I put Decaville, so I'm going off of what Amber suggested. She sent me a video saying, okay, next time I do it, this is what I'm doing. So I'm following what she was gonna do on hers. So Decaville Heavy out of my seam allowances and foam in my seam allowances. I would not suggest this combination if you are on a domestic machine, only if you're on an industrial. She says she likes the way the foam makes the seams look when it's all turned out, and I agree. It makes it kind of poofy and cute. So we're going to try it Amber's way. All right, I'm going to baste these pieces together next. I usually drop mine, then lots of cuss words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Susan, I am going to um, hand stitch. I'm gonna do what Kim suggested. Even though I don't want to, 
I'm gonna. Two in one day. I know, Rose, right? All right. Good, good. Front, back. Ooh, feels good. All right. Put that aside. My front panel has my cute little gnome on it. Oh, you know what? I don't really have a spot for a tag, huh? Hmm. I wonder, would it be dumb to put it on my side... Gusset piece somewhere. I could put it like right here. You have an outfit that would match this perfectly. <laughs> would that be dumb to put my tag like right here, maybe? <laughs> Dang it. Or right here. I think that'd be cute, actually. I'm going to do it right there. Because you know what? It's my bag. And I can put it where I want to. Do, 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 do. I don't know where the washer went for it, though. It's my bag. And I'll cry if I want to. Okay. You've seen people put it on the gusset? That might be kind of cute. Just right below. You know what? That might be kind of cute. Just right below. Okay, okay. I'm going to do it on the gusset. Forget it. Scratch that. We'll do it on the gusset. All right. So I'm going to add my foam and my lining to this piece. You know, I could probably add them both at once if I wanted to. I'll do it one at a time, though. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I got that song in my head now. Hi, Smiley Jan. All right. I bought a couple cute Valentine's Day designs. I need to do another bag with one. I was tempted to get something kind of snarky, <laughs> like a conversation heart bite me or something like that, but I didn't. It's almost your bedtime, Jen. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Um, what foam am I using? I'm just using a uh, Basel Inner Foam. I'll just get it off of Amazon. It's one of my favorites. I like the way it feels in the bags. Oh, I missed it right there. That's okay. I'm just sandwiching it. If you were using Nancy's foam, would you still base? Do you mean... If I fused it first, would I still baste? Um, I don't know if I would fuse foam. I don't like the way fused foam looks on bags. I feel like you could have some bad results with that. So I don't really ever fuse my foam anymore. I really only like to baste it.
I have bite me zipper pulls. Oh, Deb, that would have been perfect. See? I feel like I need to do one like that. That's more my, <laughs> that's more my jam anyways right now. Pretty funny. it all looks pretty good I'm just gonna trim it it's kind of over on this side so I'm just gonna trim this down a tiny bit beautiful okay so there is my front I've got my back oh my gosh you guys I mean how adorable is that with the pink on the inside ah Okay, it's cute, can't even. Here we go. So I still need to baste my foam onto these pieces. I'm gonna do that. Here we go. Yes, I'm gonna do my tag after the foam so it goes through all the layers. Thanks for the reminder. Ah. Hi, Mimsy. Yeah, Susan's on a roll with the sewing. She's been on, she's got a little bug. She's been bitten by the bug, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's do it. <laughs> she's here to help you out with all her knowledge. Yes, she is. Yeah, her daughter picked out, um, Susan's daughter picked out stuff for a math pack and she wants her to make one. And I think that's so cute. Oh my goodness. Love it. Does Susan ever use the pack, pack Mac she, fabric she got? Yes, she made a math pack with it, Robert. It looks really cute. Put my little tag. 
tag on. So my connector's right there. So I'm going to put it maybe right here. Let's do that. Uh, I'll go an yeah, inch and a half down maybe? No, we'll go there. Doop, doop, and right there. What's a good idea? All right. We'll try it. This may be a new placement for a tag, huh? I've never done it on the gusset. But why not, right? As long as I can get everything else figured out, why not? Cute. Um, I need a vinyl marking pen. Is that on your Amazon? So the one I have, Jen, is from uh, Mormino. It's her silver marking pen. That's the one that I am currently using. All right. Hi, Beach Bum Mama. I just wanted you ladies to know that you inspired me to make my first bag and I'm loving it. Oh, yay. That's exciting. All right, here we go. I'm going to work on my zipper panel. And my zipper tape. You know, I'm going to make it a little longer so I can get my pulls on and off easily, actually. Let's do that. Yerp. And I'm just going to melt my ends. Yeah, what did you make? Beach Bum Mama? I like your name. That's fun to say. <laughs> it's fun to say. <laughs> Beach bum mama. The everyday tote and the zipping. Wow. Good job. That is awesome. That zipping grip isn't the easiest pattern, so good for you. Amazing. said I'm all about the tape now with these zipper panels saves that basting step it actually goes I think a little faster it was tough on my domestic and I used cotton <laughs> saving up for an industrial see how quickly that escalates right you're like oh just kidding I need an industrial I we all feel you My workers comp lady behaved. Worst thing she did was wear flip-flops the whole time. <laughs> All right, let's put this together. All right, I'm going to start with. One side here. Mm. 
Hmm. You know what? Just a minute. I'm going to go this way. There we go. Line up right side to right side. Raw edges. All the way down. Okay, and now I'm gonna sandwich the lining on top. I was advised to go straight to an industrial. <laughs> Yeah, Jen, that's kind of the best advice ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Wild Pony Designs, are you going to be at SME in Nashville again? No, I am not. I, it takes a lot for me to travel all the way there and make it work uh, financially for me without being in the hole. So I probably will not do another event like that for a while at least but if they have one out here I'd be there in a heartbeat all right here we go we're gonna sew that Susan and I had quite the adventure driving out there. Am I having wine? You know what? I am. <laughs> Maybe I might be. Just a little bit. Just a little glass. It's been a day. <laughs> it's been a day, guys. Uh, okay. I'm going to fold these out and top stitch. Um, yeah, I have this pattern memorized. It's pretty self-explanatory to me. I've done it a few times. So once you know all the basics, ouch. Those clips. Somebody needs to invent clips that don't break. Um, once you have the basics down, you kind of know how the bag is done. All right, here we go. And I just sewed it up, you know, last weekend. So... <laughs> Sarah, perfect timing. <laughs> See? It's just a good nighttime unwind, isn't it? Sometimes. My kids are with their dad and I'm home alone, so... I've been seeing a lot of people use binder clips. Yeah, um, I could, except the binder clips, they're great when you need really strong clips, but they're hard to take on and off. They hurt my hands because they're really hard to squeeze on and off. So I can't use them for like every day, like every step clips. I swear, like I always have a clip that just like breaks in my hand when I squeeze it and it hurts. Hurt your hand. I had a water pipe break in our attic yesterday while I was in Vegas. I got the whole thing. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Sherry. There have been a lot of water pipes breaking from the cold. All right, so there's the first half. Let's work on the second half. I am so sorry. I had a furnace poop out on me, so I, I get that. That is not fun. Yep, 
yeah, I would suggest it if you have a hard time uh, with your fingers. It makes it pretty, pretty rough with those binder clips. All right, I did not clip my centers. I'm just lining them up here. There we go. Just repeating the same steps that I just did. Have to head out to my rehearsal. Oh, bye Natalie, thanks for watching. Have fun at your rehearsal. Hi, Nicole. I live in SoCal, not due to cold. Oh, that stinks. Unless, of course, you're here when I get back. Well, Natalie, um, I might be. It depends how much trouble this heart gives me. We shall see. We shall see. that on. Here we go. Can't imagine how it's not going to pucker. I know, Pammy. I don't know. I It, it might. There just may be nothing I can do about it. And if that's the case, we'll learn to love the pucker. I think I did um, cut the gusset a quarter of an inch shorter than um, the other bag that we did with Amber. So I did take off a tiny bit off the gusset, hoping that would maybe help a little bit as well. <clears throat> Cynthia, it's close to your bedtime. I know it. I know it. I figure I usually do daytime so, so it's nice to get on here for those people who can only make the evening stuff. Pucker up, buttercup, right? <laughs> that maybe that's what I need to put on the front panel. <laughs> maybe that's what I need. Uh, or a tag. Someone make me a tag. It says pucker up, buttercup. Donna, I just made one the other day and dang it, the pucker can be discouraging. Yep, I am going to try to figure out that pucker, guys. my zipper pulls and my D-rings. Can't forget my D-rings this time. I forgot them last time. I'm not forgetting them this time. Okay, and then my zipper pulls here. Yes, Lady Fair, I got it. Uh, Donna, I know. She says the result turned out okay, but we all know how it bugs you to see the hiccups even when others may not. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it. I took pictures of my other bag and in my pictures, you can't even see the pucker at all. But it's obvious in person. And 
there. That's better. Beautiful. I'm just going to trim that and I'll burn it. And then I'm going to add my D rings. Don't worry, guys. I've got it. <laughs> I've got it. I've got it so far. I know these pulls are so cute. Huh? I don't know if I've ever used them before. I've had them on my website forever. Maybe I used them on another heart bag. I'm not sure. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to put on my D rings. And this time, I'm not going to leave them hanging all long and wonky. I think that's probably good right there. And I'm doing three quarters inch um, D rings. So. Oh, Pinky Prunella, I hope so. We'll see. We'll see if it kicks my butt or if it's adorable. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Leslie, I've got it. <laughs> I remember everything I did wrong on the last one, guys. No dangly D-rings for me. All right. And this way. Alrighty. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at, let's just take a minute and admire. <laughs> that's so cute. Ah, okay. Here we go. I got to get my gusset pieces. Okay. And are they, I forget, we had to trim last time a little bit. No, they look pretty good. They look even. All right. Based my exterior on first. Did you modify the gusset yourself or is it an update gusset? I modified it and just took a quarter inch off. Just a quarter off of the, the bottom gusset. Hi, Jen. Just finished making the chickadee backpack. Aw, for your daughter's baby shower. That's great. How fun. Ooh, guys, that's kind of cute right there on the side. I'm glad I put it there. Good suggestion, you guys. I like the hive mind. Sometimes that really helps, doesn't it? All right, we're going to top stitch. And I'm like, do I put, I could put a rivet there. We'll see. We shall see. All right, from this side, here. Jen, thank you. I 
I kind of went with all the Valentine's Day colors all at once, so hopefully it works. All right. Go big or go home. top stitch this side here. I'm going to pull this out just a little bit because we're getting kind of bulky and I need to move you out. There we go. It's hard for you guys to see this part. Sorry. Thank you so much. Some days I struggle, but some days I'm like, yes. Charlene, this was a pretty last minute video, so, you know, don't feel too bad. You guys, I'm going to need to turn this the other way. There we go. And we're going to line all, no, it needs to go the other way. Sometimes I just don't know. It just fits better sometimes when it's turned in or out, depending on your materials. With these materials, it lines up better with it turned right side out. It's looking like. All right, so I'm just basting my two layers together here. And then you guys, we are already to the assembly. It's going to take me a hot second. I'm going to take my sweet time putting this bag together here uh, with my main pleat pieces because I'm going to try really hard to get it to lay nice. Um, I have not sewn uh, the peony, peony <laughs> yet. I've had this cut out and sitting here and I just wanted to get her done because it's been really on my mind. Okay, let's do it. Where did I get the plaid vinyl? This is from that um, Canada company, Sam Fabric Creations. It's really hard to find the link sometimes. Um, I do have it linked on other videos, but it is a Canada based company and I'm not sure if they always carry this plaid fabric. I think I got it around Halloween time in a box. So I'm not sure if it's in stock. Sam Fabric Creations. Yes, Nicole, that's where I got it. Christine. Thank you. All right. Here we go, guys. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to switch chairs too. Because now it's just lots of sitting and clipping. All right. I stole one of the office chairs from my kid's room because my other one wasn't rolling very well anymore. <laughs> Probably has too much fabric and thread stuck in the wheels. Okay. Get my clips. I'm gonna get my stapler. I need to fill it. 
Let's see, I still got my bag here from my trip. Okay, it's just gonna take me a hot second. Um, I'm gonna change the lighting real quick. shadows. Is that a little better? It's a little better. Okay. We can do this, right guys? We can do this. All right. How do I put the staples in? I forget. I think I just pull this out. Yep. Locked and loaded, you guys. So the question is, do I do the front or the back first? What do we think? Do we care? I don't know if it matters. I guess I'll do the front first. Um, I gotta make sure my centers are clipped. Right there. Still see it? Have it clipped. It's not wanting to fold nicely for me now. <laughs> well, you can kind of guesstimate here. Okay. Oh, my punk broidery has some. That's good. A good, good enough angle. All right, so I need to mark the centers on my gusset here. Donna, I have not modified the top of the heart. Um, I've modified the gusset a little bit to fit a little tighter. And I'm gonna hand stitch that curve so it really stays in place. And I'm hoping that solves some issues. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna unzip it. I wanna un oh, do I want rivets there? No, I think it's okay without rivets. All right, so I'm gonna start clipping this sucker and I'm gonna do a couple things. I am not sewing the dip. I'm just going to sew around here first. I'll clip it all together and get it all in place, but um, I will wait to sew that little spot. And I am gonna do some clips in my gusset right along these curves up here. Like I said, I'm just gonna take my time and see if I can get this to look nice. All right. And I will go back with the stapler for sure. Mm, I don't like how that's laying, that's okay. 
You know how you make darts to form curves? What if you made a slit in the gusset in that area and added a V-shaped piece of vinyl in that spot? Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna try this first. I mean, in our heads, everything works, right? My hands are gonna hate me after this, I'll tell you that much. I can already feel it. <laughs> I can already feel it. Okay, that fits nice around there. Okay, fits pretty nice. Okay. Let's, hi Daryl. Let's do the other side. May have too much interfacing in this. I don't know. I don't know. It's like you don't want it to be soft and slouchy. But it's gonna be a little difficult to sew. Have you tried? Oh, Marie, I've tried everything on my hands. I just have bad arthritis. Sounds like it's a wax dip and more wine after the party, probably. I actually think I'm taking a bath tonight because that sounds really nice. I am actually, you know what? I'm gonna cut some notches down here as well. I had to keep an eye on where my center was. Right there. Yep. Are you going to use the same thread from your machine? Um, that's a great question. Oof. You know. Yeah, do I switch to black, you know, or do I switch to pink? No, I think I'll just keep using the purple. It'll be okay. All on pins and needles. I know, me too. <laughs> me too. I mean, look, in theory, it looks amazing, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put some staples in because I've got it all where I want it and I don't want it to move. So I'm going to put some staples especially on the curves, okay? I do staples and then I put the clip back over. I know that's overkill, but I don't want it to move really. So on my first bag, I did staples. And while it held it in place nice, it still didn't do exactly what I needed it to do. So, 
that's why we are going to the hand sew. All right, and then I'm gonna staple some down here in the divot. The divot wasn't bad on my first bag. It looked pretty good, actually, but I did staple it. So we're gonna do that again. All right, hi, Fran. Um, Welsh Witch, uh, the cutting video had an upload issue, so it is no longer on there. I apologize. So you get this video. Ta-da. All right. I'm going to do one more staple right here. Beautiful. Let's go a little bit farther up so it doesn't move. Okay. Are we ready, guys? Are you ready for it? Here we go. Up. All right. I am not going to sew here yet. I'm going to sew the rest and then I'm going to hand stitch that little part. So I think, I don't know, should I start over here? I think I'll start right up here. And I think I need to move the camera, don't I? Sorry. But I think you guys really need to watch all my mistakes. <laughs> That's why you're here, right? You gotta, what not, what to do and what not to do. Okay. <clears throat> Pins and needles. <laughs> I know, guys. All right, so I'm going to do it at a quarter inch seam allowance. We're going to do a quarter. And I like to sew my gusset side up, almost always. Um, some people do not. So that's totally up to you. But I'm gonna take it slow around these curves. Use a tool to help you guide everything around for sure. And I think I don't need to stitch this bottom part. It's really only that top dip that I'm gonna uh, be stitching. So. I'm just gonna sew all the way down and around to the other side like this. So I did staple it. Now, it would be easier if I didn't have as much interfacing in it, but I really wanted this shape, you know? So it's the price I pay right now. Remind me to check the bobbin after this. 
It might be time for a change, but I don't know. I had a full one when we started, so we may be okay. Where did I get my shirt? Um, Target. Got my shirt at Target. A while ago. They probably don't have it anymore. It was a while ago. So do you see how I kind of like fold? I fold this and press it down as I go around these curves. That'll help you get it to lay nice. Just really work with it and go slow. And it really does help that I have it stapled. It's slipping where I don't have it stapled. <laughs> so maybe next time staple more. I could probably go a little bit down more with my stitch right there. Let me check it out. See, it even slipped. Do you see how it even slipped just right there? And I didn't sew it yet, obviously, but I um, definitely think, yeah, here we go. All right. I'm just going to take the staple out right here real quick. Actually, I'm gonna take all my, uh, no, I'm not gonna take all my staples out. I'm gonna leave those, but it totally slipped right here. I'm gonna unstitch it just a tiny bit. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get this. <laughs> my vinyl is a little slick. It's. You know, it's a smoother, a smoother vinyl, so it is a little slick, but it's not like slipping and sliding everywhere. It's not a huge issue. But I don't like how it slipped right here. So we're just gonna pick that out real quick. It's just the tiniest spot. All right, and then I'm going to get it where I want it here. Right there, stay in your home. And then I'm gonna staple, and then I'm gonna hand sew. Here we have so far, and from this side, it looks pretty good. Our curve, see how pretty it looks on the inside there? It looks great, right? It's when you turn it out that you're like, oh man, okay. Sorry, I've got my thread over here. This is what the designer told me to do of this bag. I am following her instructions. Okay, so I'm going to just hand, ooh, I don't know if my needle will go through these materials. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. We're just gonna do it. I need a thimble. Huh. I'll use my nails. Probably needed a bigger needle, but I couldn't find a bigger needle, guys. This is all I could find. I don't know if there's a certain stitch I should be using. 
Robert, funny story. I do have hemostats. I have no idea where they are, though. Leslie gave me the prettiest. Oh, I see them. <laughs> They're hanging. They're hanging on my... Um, they're hanging on my rack mixed in with all of my other rainbow things. Oh my gosh. I'm going to grab those. Do you mean the hemostats for pulling this needle through? Would that help? It's working so far. Make a bigger stitch width, like go down farther in this section. I will check my bobbin. I, I see you. Thank you. Wider stitch. Hmm. Well, I don't think this is gonna go anywhere. I'm telling you that much. Like, I think It's going to stay. I'm going all the way up here to where I stopped. Oh, gosh. Mm. Go right there. All right. Now. Now I think she goes and she uses uh, the machine and baste this, I think. Okay, so I have enough left here for when I do the next side. And I'm gonna grab my hemostats that I see hanging here. Oh my gosh. Look, it's total. I'm gonna show you how I haven't been seeing them. Do you see how, oh, where are they at? See the stack right here? I thought they were all scissors. Look at it. They're mostly rainbow scissors, but guess what? The hemostats are hidden behind there. Oh man, okay. Here we go. And I haven't really used these before, but I'll try them. All right, let's do it. So I think I still, I don't really want to go this way. I think I still want to go this way. So let's try it. It should not move. I'll try these little hemostat thingamajiggers. You're wearing a thimble for you, for me. Um, my nails work surprisingly well. All right, so I think how I use these is I just flip on there and pull. All right, here we go. I'm just like a little worried that I won't be able to move the hemostats when I need to move them. Like right now.
You guys, <gasps> you guys, look how perfect. Okay, <laughs> I'm really excited. It actually worked. Look how perfectly it stitched right there. Now, the true test will be when we turn this out, but I'm telling you what, that looks pretty stinking good. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do another row right next to that first row I did just on this top part, um, just to make sure I kind of got it. I'm kind of excited. Actually, you know what? First, I'm going to take out my staples. Let's take out my staples before I do any more stitches because I don't want to stitch over, whoops, one of these staples. Maybe he meant to push and pull the needle. Yeah, I mean, I know they were talking about the needle, but um, hemostats are great for holding your material too, which I think actually really helped me hold all of this in place, which was nice. Oh, you guys, I think it worked. Okay. Um, Rose, this is her new one that she's releasing at 90%. And it has a middle zipper gusset instead of along the front panel, along the zipper. So, and I think... She's releasing it any day now because when we sewed it last week, she said in a week. So, it should be very soon. I have the link down below. You guys can go check. I'm not sure. I guess I should have probably checked before I started my video today. I don't want to staple there. Come back. All right, is that all my staples? I mean, it looks pretty good, guys. All right, I'm gonna go along the top real quick one more time, just that top edge. Figure the more I give that some reinforcement, the better. So just like along here. right next to that first row that I did. to add the binding, right? Oh, guys, I hope this works. I hope this works. All right. Okay, I'm just doing fold over elastic. You can do waterproof canvas. You could do whatever your um, binding of choice is go for it. And so when I do this, I'm going to do it at a quarter inch seam allowance as well. You could go a little bit bigger. You could go a little bit smaller. It's up to you. I did a quarter inch around uh, the heart, putting the pieces together, but usually, I, don't, I, I guess I go just a tiny bit. Oh, Bobbin, thank you. <laughs> It usually is a tiny bit smaller when I go around the binding just because of the space it gives you. It's not going to be exact. So I don't know if there's a right or wrong way, guys. It's just however is comfortable for you. A lot of people do a 3 8 inch seam allowance and then a quarter with this or vice versa. 
Um, yeah, lots of different ways. Bobbin, bobbin, bobbin. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> you guys are funny. Thank you. This is the other spot um, that I have issues with, the dip again when you're putting on the binding. It tends to wanna shift up. So I am gonna put some tape under it. So once I lay it down, hopefully it doesn't shift, right? Charlene, she doesn't have the revival. Okay, it's coming any day. It's coming up any day. I'm just gonna put a tiny piece front and back right there. So when I put my elastic on, it's not really gonna shift. Does that make sense? Because it wants to move up. All right, you need to make your tiny snips before the binding for ease. Um, no, I think I'm okay. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, do you mean, do you mean snip, snip just right here so when you turn it, it lays better? Do we need to do that? You know what, I think, I think that would be smart. So. Because it's, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna do just tiny snips right in here. Cause now it's sewn on there nice, right? So we're gonna just do some more little snips. And maybe that'll help that curve lay nice. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> because if you think about it, when you do gussets um, on big bags, you always do the pinking shears along the curves after you sew it to make them turn nicer. I think that might help. It's sewed twice. It's not going anywhere. And then I'm sewing it a third time with this. So I think that will help. Yeah, I mean, in theory, like we said, it always works in our heads, right? In theory. Oh no, I wouldn't put snips in the elastic. No, 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 no. I moved it out of the way and I just did <laughs> the material. <clears throat> nope, nope, nope. I don't want snips. No snips in your elastic. That would not be good. You know, I could have done purple fold over. I just, I had the black sitting here and I just grabbed it. I didn't even think about that, but I'm not changing it now. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not changing it now. So normally I connect the two layers. Should I do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Although that might be kind of hard with the way this bag. I'm just gonna um, overlap them.
All right. This is it. We're going to turn this after we sew this on. So here's my binding, my fold over elastic. Um, I put some tape. I did snips in my actual bag material, not my elastic. Um, I'm just going to take it slow. Let's sew this puppy up. I like the black too. And I've got the purple thread. I think it'll be cute. It'll be fine, guys. Bobbin. Let me check it. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we have enough. Here we go. My hands are already screaming at me. Where did I start it? Do you see how, because, I don't know if you guys can see it all that well. Sorry, I wish I could get you up close a little bit more. But um, when I take the clips off, the elastic doesn't really move that much because I kind of gave it a little stretch as I went around. So it stretched the material and kind of stays put as I sew around my bag, which is one of the reasons why I love it. I'm not fighting a second time with the binding, right? Stay put, stay put. over elastic from a place called oh Jan's linking it right there that Etsy link is where I got the folder of elastic um, in a couple weeks I hope to carry it in my own shop matching my thread colors um, I got 10 different 10 different uh, colors of fold over elastic that match my threads so hopefully in a couple weeks I'll have that to offer on my website are my admins and my helpers so awesome with posting links thank you ladies so much for helping you guys are amazing you make my job a lot easier Don't bark. No. Hey. Sorry, guys. All right. Okay. That. Let's.
let's take a look at her. Ooh, she looks pretty, you guys. I just want to show you. Do you see how pretty that actually looks? You caught it. It looks, oh, I think. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. Let's turn it and see what it looks like. Yeah, Robert, my plan is to hopefully have matching for all of my thread. Wouldn't that be awesome? We'll see how it goes. Okay. Let's see what this first half looks like. <gasps> it looks pretty stinking good. There's one tiny, tiny wrinkle. Oh my goodness. I think we did it, guys. I think we did it. Ah, we did it. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look how good that turned out. Ah! It worked. It worked. It's got the tiniest little bump right there, but compared to my first one I did, that looks amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, staples, hand stitching, go slow. Ooh, baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Let's finish the other side. Uh, Evelyn, yes, I did embroider the gnome. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Ah! Okay. A little dimple. I can deal with a little dimple. That's not a big deal at all. We can deal with that, right? All right. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. But do you also see, like that little one I showed you in the beginning, um, how nice the inside looks. Like it lays really nice when you bind it. So if you were to bind it on the outside, it would look really good that way too. So that's another option, I think. <sighs> okay, you guys. Are we ready to do this all over again? Whew. Okay. Here we go. We're doing this again. That's my middle. I already have it clipped. And that's my middle. Um, this is vinyl and waterproof canvas. So it is not light. Um, and it's heavily interfaced. <laughs> Foam, Decaville light, and Decaville heavy. It's got quite a few layers. But I think it's pretty good. Ah, it's so cute. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this again. I think I'm just going to put one. Ah, dropping everything. I'm going to just put one staple right here in the center to start. Though, so that stays put. How do we feel about that? I think I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. All right. The dimple might come out if you hit it with the hairdryer. Yeah, it might actually. Yeah, I mean, guys, compared to my first round with the other bag, it looks, it looks good. Yeah. I'm happy with that result. That is that is a bag I would feel comfortable selling. For sure. And now we know. Now we know. And I I took that method. That's the designer's suggestion on how to do it. So
I figured, well, she's made a few probably. She knows what she might be talking about. <laughs> right? Oh, did I miss questions? Vin it's, it's vinyl. Yes. Um, oh, the weather. The weather's okay. It was pretty nice today. It was like 50 here, I think. All the snow's melting. I'm sure just in time for it to be freezing again, but that's okay. That's okay. Right. Okay, and then I'm going to get this. I'm gonna do some clips down here. Don't want to lose that center clip here. Right there. The only thing I'm not liking um, about the way I have interfaced it is that the Decaville Heavy is kind of making the lining pieces look a little funky and lay funky. I don't know if I would do heavy again on my front and back main pieces. But I definitely like the foam and the Decaville light. So I think next time I would probably just do Decaville light and foam. You're worried about making one, your nails? Hmm. My nails come in handy. Hopefully this doesn't scare you away from the pattern. It's actually not that difficult. You just have to figure out that middle part, which I think we, guys, I think we did it. So I think anybody who watches this video should be able to attempt this, right? Because it actually fits in the heart shape pretty nicely. There's not, there's not a lot of struggle for it to fit in the heart. Um, it's just, it's sliding when you sew it. See, it actually fits in really nice. I don't have to struggle too much with it. Hey, Marley May. All right, I'm gonna do just a couple of staples here. I'm gonna put just a few more staples along my curve this time, along my heart curve. I felt like that slipped just a tiny bit on the other bag. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. And if you're wondering about this stapler, this is from Waywac. It's my favorite for bag making. It's got like smaller staples than the original stapler has. And um, it just is awesome. All right, let me put the rest of this in. Not sure my machine could do that bag. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's doable if you interface it correctly, right? So if you have a lighter weight machine, don't use so much heavy interfacing, you'll be okay. But I have a machine that can handle it, so I'm gonna do it.
Good, good. Did I staple down here? No. Just going to staple right around this corner here. Uh, Pinky, what are you asking on each end? What's the question? Do it. Um, does anyone? Yes, Jadira, I do have to tell Amber. Mm. Rose, I just took, so this is the pattern. It hasn't come out yet. It's the 90% one. I think it should be out any day. I just took a quarter inch off of the gusset, and that's it. Just a quarter inch off the total measurement of the gusset. She said you could do that for a tighter fit. So I did that. Okay, this side's gonna be a little bit more difficult just because I have to squish all this in there. No, not each end, Pinky, just the gusset. Just the total gusset measurement. It might be harder to start up here at the top, huh? Get in there. Yeah, cylinder arm would be nice for all the ending steps in bag making, wouldn't it? Hi, Oakers. Hey, Oakley. Can you come in to join me? Hi, baby. Hi, you guys want to see my cute old doggo? Oakley, say hi. I think Marley, you see Marley over there watching me too? <laughs> They're like, Mom. I wish I could stay to watch the end, but I have mommy duties. I get that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good night.
Well, um, I'm not gonna go over this part. I feel like it's gonna be bumpy. I don't like that. Just a second. I need to get it to lay flatter for me. There we go. Lay down. I didn't want to just shove it over a big bump. Let's try that again. Yeah. Sometimes it helps just to take it out and flatten it with your fingers and get it situated. Where it needs to go. Uh, I might have a bump there. I don't know. Always try flattening it with the second round when you do the um, binding. What are we talking about? Seize candy. <laughs> I know. They are staying bedtime. They're ready. They're so cute. They won't go lay on, down on my bed until I come with them. Take a look. I'm a little worried about down here. Do I have a rump? Oh, it feels okay. And there might be just the tiniest little bump, but it might smooth out as I put everything else on. Okay, guess what? We get to hand sew again. Yay, yay. All right, let's get this. Making a knot at the bottom of my thread. My quilting day is paying off here. All right. Do, do, do. Here we go. Should I try the hemostat for this? Let's try it. Nope. <laughs> Came off. Uh, I didn't do that right. I'll just use my fingers. It's fine. Sometimes if I don't go to bed at our normal time, the dogs end up just in one of the kids' beds. <laughs> and then I have to go get them. All right, let's do this. There we go. Hand sewing is so not fun. I don't get why people do it. My mom, I think still to this day, Han stitches all of her quilt bindings on. Like that last 
go around that binding hand stitched. She does not want the sloppy look of the machine. <laughs> And that's why her quilts are so amazing. I'm just doing a basting stitch so that it doesn't move when I sew. The staples only hold so much. I do have a thimble. I just, it's okay. I have thimbles. I have my grandma's thimbles, actually. They're one of the things that I received when she passed away. I said, can I have her thimbles? She has the prettiest ones. Because she used to hand sew all of her binding on as well. Now, is doing this little stitch as annoying and time consuming as I thought it would be? Not really. I would do it again because I know the result it gets me now. It's actually not that horrible. Robert, I used to do lots of hand embroidery as well and cross stitch. Um, yeah, my hands can't really handle it as much anymore. Okay. Boom. Now let's get that corner. Let's get it. Get her done. Gonna use these, take a little sip. Wish me luck. Here we go. Sorry if my head's kind of in the way. It's kind of hard to... <laughs> Second side is a little more tricky to get in there. These hemostats are gonna take some practice. Not the best, Adam. I don't think that got it. I think I need to go around one more time. Uh, I'm not happy with that. I'm going to go around one more time. It kind of, um, I'll show you what I mean. It kind of slipped right here. And so the seam allowance here is a lot smaller than it is over here, so I need to get down in it a little bit more. So here I go. Where did I just put those hemostats? Oh my goodness. 
And this is the part of the night where I start losing my mind. Where did I put those? You guys, do you see them? And I don't see them? There they are. <laughs> okay. Woo, baby. All right, let's try this again. this a little bit more I think we need to start about right there I think that did it. Yep. Oh, much better. Okay. So do you see my final stitch? It's right here. Looks good. Okay. I'm going to take out my staples and we're going to put on our binding, guys. Oh, it looks good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Did anyone else just lose Kasaya? I don't know. My picture's still up. Am I still there, guys? It can't stop now. We're almost done. It's the best part. Right? Don't lose me now. We've come so far. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm excited. I think this one's going to turn out pretty stinking good, guys. And, you know, the, the majority of the bag went by really fast. Like, the assembly of it, super fast. Getting all the pieces put together. It's just this final step that's kind of time-consuming. So, if you go into that bag knowing that, you're good. You're good to go. Take a break. Walk away. Come back. You know? Would a circular machine work better or would that make it easier? You mean a cylinder arm, Tammy? Um, yeah, a cylinder arm would probably make it a little bit easier to get in that dip and that curve and make it smooth, absolutely. All right, let me make sure I've got staples everywhere. Let me make sure I got all my staples out. We're good. Okay. Trim some threads. Trim some. All right. Let's do it. Karen, yes you did, just in time. Last steps. I'm kind of super happy with this, you guys. I think, I think it's gonna be a good turnout in the end. And remember, I kind of give my elastic a stretch as I go around. That really helps with sewing it on.
I've cut so much zipper tape with those scissors. They're kind of not as sharp as I want them to be anymore. There we go. Thank you, Susan. For those of you don't don't know, the Saya swag chatting is Susan. <laughs> She's just under my name. <laughs> it's not me chatting to myself while I sew. <laughs> Although that's pretty much what I do. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of tape there like I did on my... Oh, and I need to do my snips. I think that probably helped. Right? We're gonna do a little bit of tape so that binding stays in place. <clears throat> she stole my identity, that's right, darn sister. That's okay, she can have me. <laughs> she can have my life. This side down here. Is the fold over easier on my hands? Nicole, it totally is. Like compared to um, waterproof canvas, it's much easier on my hands. Oops, sorry, move the camera. Normally, I sew the two layers together so they fit really nice, but because of the really stiff shape of this bag, I feel like it'll be way too difficult to connect these first, so I'm just overlapping them, okay? Not how I normally do it, but for this bag, that's just what we're going to do, guys. What you going to do about it? Okay. Here we go. Can we do this? I think we can. My dogs are like, yeah, you can. Let's go to bed. All right. Where did I end? Where did my two layers end? On this side. Okay. Here on this side, we're gonna start. Let's do it. Last step, guys.
Um, Charlene, yes, I'm just doing a quarter inch here. If I only knew how to play music. What are you guys talking about? Instruments? My mom is 73 and taking violin lessons. Oh, that's so cute. That's awesome. Good for her. It's never too late to, earn, to learn something new. Karen, I combined Andre comments at the same time. Yeah. I can. I've had some practice. Don't leave yet. We're going to turn this out. Let's see what we got. Ooh, baby. Shall we turn it? Turn and burn? Turn and burn, baby. Susan, say that. Say that for us. Turn and burn, baby. All right. This is not going to be easy because of how much I interfaced it. <laughs> Only turning it once, right? Oh, check the binding. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I didn't even check it. <laughs> I'm like, I want to turn it. Uh... That wasn't that horrible. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Looks better than my first one did. So that's always a good, good sign. Uh -huh. You guys, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Uh, oh my goodness. I don't know if I would interface the next one as much, but man, it sure gives it a good shape. All right, you ready? Oh my goodness, it totally worked. Look it. We did it! <laughs> Look at that bag. Oh my goodness! Yay! Oh, she's cute! <laughs> She'll be up for sale on my website, guys. I'll finish, I'll finish the little strap tomorrow to go with it. 
I'm not sure what to do for the strap yet. Probably purple. Um, and I'll put it on my website for sale. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> All right, so if you're gonna be making these heart patterns, take your time, hand stitch. I mean, it worked. It worked. All right, where's my label? Ooh, my label's right there. On the gusset. I actually really love the placement of the label. I think that's cute. Oh, okay, thanks for watching, everybody. I know this was a late night, so, and a lot of you are exhausted, so go to bed. My dogs and I are gonna go to bed. All right, thank you, everybody. We'll see you later. Have a good night.